nicknamed the Dragon Slayers, the Helicopter Sea Combat Squadron 11 of the United States Navy is among the oldest and most historically influential helicopter squadrons in the American military. The daring members of Squadron 11 have played a crucial role in some of the most significant U.S.-led rescue operations across the globe, including the recovery of American astronauts from the Gemini missions, search and rescue operations after a significant ship collision, and relief efforts during some of the most catastrophic hurricanes to strike the U.S. They've also delivered vital combat support to U.S. troops across various primary American military missions, including Operation Prairie Fire in Libya, Desert Shield, Desert Storm, Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, and Iraqi Freedom. Now, emerging live-fire training footage has allowed the public to take a peek into one of the iconic unit's mighty MH-60S Seahawks and witness firsthand how the legendary American crews prepare to protect American interests around the world. Inside Squadron 11. The recent emergence of a video depicting a live fire drill conducted by a Squadron 11 helicopter has given the public a rare glimpse into the internal operations of the iconic unit. The footage depicts the Seahawk helicopter as it takes off from the aircraft carrier where it's stationed. As the aircraft gains altitude, the camera reveals the inside of the helicopter where the crew in charge of the training sortie is located. The gunner then begins to load the door-mounted M2 variant GAU-21 machine gun. After asking for confirmation through the radio, he begins to fire live rounds in a sweeping pattern. The camera then cuts to a side-mounted minigun as it's being fired. The weapon is either a GAU-17 or a GAU-19 with its barrels covered. Finally, the footage shows the live testing of the rocket pod mounted on the other side of the Seahawk, and the video depicts the moment two 70mm diameter, fin-stabilized, unguided Hydra-70 rockets are unleashed into the sea. With most of its weapon systems tested, the Seahawk then returns to its aircraft carrier, where it lands amid several other U.S. aircraft. Although brief, the footage does an impressive job of showcasing what it is like to be part of the Dragon Slayers and serve inside one of the mighty Seahawk helicopters from where the squad carries out its missions. Throughout the decades, the Dragon Slayers have proven to be an invaluable asset for the U.S. Navy, thanks to their remarkable performance and valiant service across the world. Origins Squadron 11 was established on June 27, 1957, as an anti-submarine attack unit, and it was tasked with patrolling the seas in search of enemy submarines hiding under the waves. The unit initially flew aboard Sikorsky HSS-1 Seabat helicopters, and they were dubbed the Subseekers. Just two years after its debut, the squadron underwent a significant upgrade in which its sea bass was improved to include Doppler radar and automatic stabilization and hover capabilities for all weather operations. The new technology allowed the squadron to conduct a much more comprehensive range of missions beyond anti-submarine warfare. With much better navigation and more reliable performance in bad weather, Squadron 11 could now carry out search and rescue, reconnaissance, patrol, and strike operations. Soon, the rescuers began to deploy from some of the most iconic American aircraft carriers in all sorts of sorties around the world. In 1962, the squadron transitioned to what would become its primary aircraft for the next three decades, the formidable SH-3A Sea King and its eventual variations, the SH-3D and SH-3H. The Sea King further expanded what Squadron 11 could do by providing it with a fast and reliable aircraft powered by a turboshaft engine equipped with a modern dipping sonar. In addition to being faster, having a more extended range, and the capacity to carry heavier weapons, the Sea King had an amphibious hull, meaning that the bottom section of the aircraft was designed to function as a boat to land in the water. Now nicknamed the Dragon Slayers, 
the members of Squadron 11 would use its training and technological advancement to perform some of the most crucial missions of the U.S. Navy. Operational History One of the first significant operations that caught the attention of the entire world was the Dragon Slayer's role in recovering U.S. astronauts during the Gemini missions in the 1960s. During the ordeal, Squadron 11 was tasked with plucking iconic cosmonauts such as Edward Higgins White II, James McDivitt, James A. Lovell, and Buzz Aldrin from the sea while deploying from the USS Wasp aircraft carrier. While attached to USS John F. Kennedy, the massive carriers endured two significant collisions with friendly American ships. The first one took place on November 22, 1975, when John F. Kennedy collided with the cruiser Belknap. Then, on September 14, 1976, the destroyer Bordellum lost control and crashed with the American aircraft carrier, causing irreparable damage to the former. In both incidents, the Dragon Slayers rushed into action, performing daring rescue missions that saved countless lives on the smaller ships that had crashed against the gargantuan carrier. For its brave service and the many lives saved, Squadron 11 was awarded the Navy Unit Commendation. Having earned a heroic reputation for their willingness to save lives, the members of Squadron 11 continued to answer the domestic call for help to bring people to safety during hurricane relief efforts. In 1999, Dragon Slayers risked their lives by venturing into a hurricane-ravaged area amid winds of over 50 knots and waves reaching over 30 feet to save the lives of nine men whose ship was sunk during Hurricane Floyd. In addition, Squadron 11 was the first Navy squadron to respond just hours after Hurricane Ike slammed through Galveston, Texas in September of 2008. Two years later, the squadron was one of the first units to respond to the catastrophe caused by the 7.0 magnitude earthquake in Haiti. Battle Ready Squadron 11 was designed for combat since its inception and has never limited its actions to search and rescue operations. Whether it is anti-submarine warfare, fire support, or direct strike missions, Dragon Slayers have shown outstanding reliability. In 1994, after three decades of service, the Dragon Slayers exchanged their Sea Kings for the Sikorsky SH-60F and HH-60H Seahawk helicopters. The new aircraft offered the squadron another technological leap, which in turn greatly expanded its mission areas and the roles it could accomplish. Thanks to the Seahawks, the Dragon Slayers could now engage in vertical replenishment, naval special warfare support, and combat search and rescue missions. Additionally, by 1999, the new helicopter was armed with a Hellfire missile system and GAU-16 50 caliber machine gun, which now allowed the aircraft to successfully perform anti-surface warfare. The squadron has participated in Operation Ocean Safari in the Northern Atlantic, Operation Prairie Fire in Libya, Operations Desert Shield, Desert Storm, and Southern Watch in the Persian Gulf, Operation Provide Comfort off Mogadishu, Somalia, and operations deny flight and decisive edge in the Adriatic Sea. In 2001 and 2003, the legendary unit took place in Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan and Operation Iraqi Freedom, and again participated in both operations in 2006 and 2007. And in 2014, the Skyhawks from Squadron 11 became the first active duty helicopter squadron to deploy with the GAU 17A 7.62mm minigun system, boosting its combat capabilities even further. Today, Dragon Slayers continue to carry out specialized missions all around the world, and their most recent feats and exploits will most likely be unveiled to the public at some point in time. Thank you for watching our video. Click on your screen to explore some of our other Dark Documentaries channels, where you'll find more military content depicting the stories of some of the bravest soldiers and the actions that made them famous. We publish new content regularly, so make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a single video. Stay tuned.